All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baasham, Yahweh Shai, Baasham, Raka Kwadash, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect and the nation of Israel. This is Amawan from the Great Millstone camp here in Trinidad. All right, um, come to do another lesson. Um, through you, Holy Spirit, um, basically, that you know, we had to be, we, we had to be adversaries to Satan. Okay, <laughs> we had to be adversaries to Satan. We, as men of the Lord, all right, had to be adversaries to the adversary. All right, the word Satan means adversary. Okay. And, and, and men of the Lord have had to be adversaries to the adversary. So, when you look up the meaning of the word adversary on the online etymology dictionary, it says, unfriendly opponent, enemy, originally especially of Satan as the enemy of mankind, mid 14th century. Ad adversary from Anglo adversa um, hostile just know this battery going on dead and I only have one charge I don't know one percent so I will try and read it as fast as I could um, hostile opponent enemy um, rival enemy so we had to be Satan's rival we had to be his enemy all right we had to be his hostile opponent in other words, every time, every time Satan come against your belief, against you, all right, you be your opponent, you oppose him. Hey, to come from you, that boy. I don't want to hear that boy. Rebuke the devil. The scripture say that. The scripture say, when um, James, the fourth chapter. I'm gonna get that. James chapter 4 verse 7 it says submit yourselves therefore to the most high resist the devil and he will flee from you all right resist the devil and he will flee from you so when you resist Satan he will flee all right you being the adversary you being you being like you being you would Satan mean adversary you being a Satan to Satan and following your how about Shami our shy. We are to be Satan's adversary. We are to be adverse completely to everything that the so-called white man and, 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 and he spiritual father Satan doing. Alright? Because we we our our, our father is how about Shami our shy. That is our father. So we had to be completely adverse to him. Alright? That is why Yahweh Shai say. In Matthew the sixth chapter, all right. Matthew chapter six, verse twenty-four, he says, "No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold on to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and Mammon. So you can't serve the Most High and serve Satan at the same time. Is he that all?" All right, so we in the shoot, we had to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. That is what we were called for. We were called to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai and not Mammon. All right, we were called to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai and not Mammon. So, seeing that we were called to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai and not Mammon, we ought to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai and, 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 and anything the so called white man and his philosophies for. We are against. We are adversaries to that. We are enemies against that. Alright? We are enemies to this world. Enemies of the state. <laughs> you understand? Because this so called white man will not come and, and, and drink here. Yeah, he wine to drink. Alright? But when you resist the devil, he will flee from you. Okay? He's John. Not John. First Peter. Second Peter chapter five. No. 
Salak. Now Salak. First Peter chapter five. Salak. Yeah. First Peter chapter five verse eight. It says, "Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, your Satan, because Satan the devil, adversary means Satan, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour, who resists." Let me look up the meaning of the word resist. If I could, this battery is dead by the time. I doubt it might last so long, but of course, but forget to charge it. I'm not using the charger to charge this phone. The phone was taping on. It hook up to the charger right now. So we had to be our adversary to the devil, we had to be his enemy. And, and by being his enemy, by fighting against him, he's going to come and 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 come. Because I was the Apostle Peter here saying in 1 Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk it about. He coming for you. Seeking, he looking for you. So you have to keep resisting him. You have to keep fighting him. You have to keep being his enemy. And then being his enemy, you'll be how about Shami, our shy friend. Okay? And being the, uh, um, the Satan's enemy, he'll be a how about Shami Awashai's friend. Right? Um, let me see. Um, 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 um. Adversary. Yeah. Who resists, right? It says, Who resists? I will continue to read. 1 Peter 5 and 9. Who resists? Who are we resisting? The devil, our adversary. Alright? Um, who resists? The word resist comes from the Hebrew, the Greek. Strong's G436. Antistemi. Antistemi. And it means to set oneself against the withstand to resist or oppose. Alright? To oppose. Boom. So we go back to the word adversary. Alright? It's, it's, uh, one of the meanings is an unfriendly opponent. A opposition opposing. Okay? We Satan's adversary. The elect will be his adversary. Because why? He can't get them. He can't touch them. He want them. He want them men and them to fall. But what how shall I say? How shall I say no man is able to... To pull them out of his father's hands. Okay? So you, you, in this walk, in this walk, you always have to fight against Satan. You always have to be his enemy. You always have to oppose him. You always have to um, deny the filth what he's trying to put on you. Alright? And it, um, it goes on to say, 1 Peter 5 and 9. Who resists steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Alright? Our brethren in the world going through the same things. So, so we, we are there. Because they're going through, that should give you more encouragement to go through. That should give you more encouragement. Alright? Should. By all means, it should. Alright? So, we, we have to be on the P's and Q's against this devil because he's slick and he's sly. That is why we, we have to be fighting against him as, as it says in what? As it says in Ephesians. Alright? The sixth chapter. It's Ephesians chapter 6. And um, verse Ephesians 6 verse 10 it says finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might all right put on the whole armor of the most high that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil because it is against he be fighting for we wrestle not against flesh and blood 
Hey, look that we go and go on to say verse 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So we in fighting against man. And that is the, the hey, that is why you niggas who, who talking about having a revolution, may Yahweh Basha may our shy destroy you. Okay? May Yahweh Basha may our shy destroy you. Talking about having a revolution. Freaking revolution. Scripture now say we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, boy. We don't fighting against man. Right now. It didn't reach to that point yet in the battle. It's a spiritual battle. Alright? It's a spiritual battle right now. So, um, I'll read over verse 11. It says, put on the whole armor of the Most High. The whole armor. Why are you putting on the whole armor? Because you're going up and fight against your enemy, your adversary. Alright? Somebody who is adverse to your wire I will shine always. So you have to be adverse to that person because you are underneath the banner of your hawa Bahashami Awashai. So once you've been underneath the banner of your hawa Bahashami Awashai, whatever Satan trying to put on you, you have to rebuke. You have to uh, um, resist. You have to hold fast to the faith that you in. Because when I was shy, say, I was shy, say, the prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me. So if you with your house shy, the prince of this world being the so called white man Esau, Esau's father being the devil, you cannot be with your house shy and be with the devil at the same time. That is why I read the scripture in Matthew 6 24. You serve the Mosa and Mammon. You have to serve your hour, why I was shy, or the devil. And if you're serving your hour, why I was shy, resist the devil, be an adversary to the adversary, be a Satan to Satan. <laughs> For those who can receive it. So now we're going on. Um, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers. Alright, these different um, forces, these demons, the so called white man have roaming the earth. Alright? These 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 forces trying to get to the um, go off. These wicked philosophies that he so have that he put on the earth. This is what we breaking down these strongholds. Okay? It says against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That is what we're fighting against. A spiritual battle. Wickedness in high places. These Illuminati, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, these witchcrafts, these, these, these magi, these, these um, as it says in Isaiah 47, the, the monthly prognosticators. Alright? All them that are things. The diviners, the enchanters, all them sort of thing. We die when we fight against by Esau and the wicked system, by spiritual wickedness and in, in high places. And and and, and fighting against that, alright? Yeah, 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 yeah. You being a man at you you being a man of the Lord, that's why you have to be rooted and built up in. That's why the scripture says rooted and built up in him. Matter of fact, let me get it. It's Colossians, Colossians 2 verse 9, right? No. No, no, no. Um, yeah, verse 7, so that. Verse 6, I read from. It says, As ye have therefore received a Yahavashai Mashiach, the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him. And established in the faith as you have been taught. Abounding therein with thanksgiving. Reason for be reason for that is. Alright. Now when Satan come to you to try and tempt you. You, 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 you hey, this is my belief. This is my faith. This we are staying. You stick for your hour while you are shy. You walk in and in always because that is what the Lord say to do. Okay. You do what you are while you are shy say to do. I know what the, what the adversary say to them. Alright? They're doing what the Lord say to them. So now we're going back to Ephesians, the fourth chapter. 
the 46th chapter, and we read the 13th verse. It says, Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Messiah. And when you're taking that armor, it's because you're fighting against somebody. And this fight is against the, the, the so-called white man and his father, the, the Satan, who, hey, I'll just say this, Satan is being controlled by Yahweh. Why Yahweh shy? Because Yahweh shy say, all power in heaven and on earth is given unto me. And when you read in Job, the first chapter, Satan, Satan was now in the depths of hell. When the Mosai asked Satan, when, from whence comes thou, Satan, Satan said, from walking up and down in the, to and fro in the earth and up and down in it, because Satan was down here on the earth, trying to hurt some men. So, Yahweh Shai had power up in the heavens and on the earth. Because Satan reports to Yahweh, as it says in Job. Okay? But, the, the, the children of Satan is the so-called white people, and their philosophies are strictly based off of the devil. So, we're not supposed to follow them. Alright? We're being called into this thing, this holy calling. We have to follow the teachings that the Lord and Savior teach us. Which is a fight against the wickedness of this world at all costs. You understand? Fight against what Satan saying at all costs. Fight against what the devil for at all costs. Fight against what the wicked people are this earth for at all costs. And endure to the end to make it into the chariots and to be with the hour shy. That is what we're supposed to be fighting for. Because that is what we get called for. We are called for that. So once you get called for that and, and you believe. You see the, co the key point is belief. If you believe you will do it. If you don't believe you won't do it. Despite whatever the Satan showing your way, despite whatever obstacle causing your way, you dodge it and you move, you maneuver, you, hey, no, shit. You, you know, you move. Reason being because you're looking toward the end. That way I was shy say if your eye be single, yeah, yeah, your whole body is full of light. But if your eye, alright, in single, your body is darkness and how great is that darkness? Alright? We have to be adverse to the adversary. Right? The adversary is in the ways of this world. God of this world. Okay? Not a fact, I will get that in 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians is um, the 4th chapter and the 3rd the verse. It says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, that's the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. So, the God of this world, we are to resist He. Alright? Because then, once we resist He, we will see the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai continually. That is our eyes being what single and focused on the kingdom of heaven. But if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're two, half stepping on, and you're, you're, you're one foot in, one foot here, one foot here. You know, sometimes in the world, sometimes in the truth, sometimes in the world, sometimes in the truth, sometimes in the world more than in the truth, then in the truth more than in the world, and then whatever. Yahweh Shai talk about that in Revelation, the third chapter and the fourteenth verse. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Now, don't get me wrong. They are brothers on different levels. We understand that. Yeah, which I say, some a hundred fold, some eighty fold, some forty fold, some thirty fold. What roughly paraphrasing? But when you get thirty fold, they'll do twenty five. When you get um eighty fold, they'll do forty. Max out your fucking eighty. Max out your thirty. Max out your hundred. And let me make it into the kingdom of heaven because that's where we looking to go. All right. Yeah, men who looking to fucking stay here. Just switching gears a little bit. Yeah, men who looking to stay here. Men who looking to be in the same kingdom. We are dog ruling over them. We fucking dog ruling over them. These fucking niggas, by May the most side destroy each and every last one of them. Because all they ain't good for shit. All they just niggas, by 
You, you want to stay in our kingdom with, with, with wickedness as well? No, we knew wickedness at that point. In the, in the, in the past life, yeah, yeah, we didn't know, we didn't know wickedness. Alright? Alright? We, 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 we used to be in wickedness, we used to do wickedness before we get called into the truth. But now that you're in the truth and you understand what the hell was wicked, you want to stay here, right? You're for real, right? You want to stay in a kingdom with our homosexual running around the place, right? A bull of man. Man. Fellas and them biting pillows, you want to rock with them, right? And set up a fucking kingdom here for your kids. So I'm not wrong with you, right? So you, you, you gotta check it. So you have demons on you. You understand? If you truly and really and truly fear your Abba Hashem, your shy, your whole motive will be to flee, get out, get out, get out, because this is now your resting place. And one man who does well to stay here is Satan. All right, that's why, that's why these are uh, um, spirits and them. When they saw your Abba Shai walking, and they'll come to tell um. Um, torment us before our time because they want to remain here and just torment people away. They want people to remain here and just infest them. They all these demons. Is. They want to just remain here in the sinful kingdom way. Alright? They what they want by. Because these their time to rule, these them them time to shine. To make Jakes to go off, to have Jakes in a fucking state. Because they don't want they don't want the time to up. But the time coming to end. Alright? Or the time coming to end. Because your yeah, shy is about to return. He's about to make his entrance, his second entrance into the earth. Alright? As himself, because he was here before. He was here before. As King Solomon, as Isaac, as a, 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 a Adam as Melchizedek, all right. Who are you? Well, right, yeah. Okay, he was here before, he was here, but it's the second time he coming as he come the first time as himself 2000 years ago and all they put him to death. Second time he coming as himself, the son of God, but this time as a force. As a, he said, I will not meet thee as a man. Alright? So when he comes back, we home, we safe. That is where faith should be. That is where it should be. And they will do anything to rebuke. They will rebuke Satan at all costs to keep that faith going, to keep that belief. Hey, Second Corinthians 2, verse 11, it says, Lest Satan should get advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. And if you're not ignorant of Satan's devices, alright, one of the main devices is Mark of the Beast, is RFID microchip. <coughs> which a lot of jigs want to take. <coughs> a lot of jigs want to take this microchip. They want to take this microchip and stick it in there. But that is it. That is the trial period. We had to resist that. Because it didn't start yet. All this certain little thing what we going through just to build up the mind and strength to remind him for the things to come in. When the things to come and reach, that's when we can, we can separate the men from the boys. The men who was being exercised. You see, now when you're being exercised with your mental, take the exercise because exercise is good for your mind. Right now, Satan ex the most I exercise in the mind by putting trials and tribulations on we. Don't, 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 don't give in to Satan and say, no, nah, Satan coming wrong with No, it's an exercise. Because the things that are coming in the future, we might have to be conditioned for that. Alright? So don't give in to Satan and, and submit. No, rebuke that bastard, Satan. Rebuke him. And do what you have about Hashem, you have a say to do. <clears throat> that way, when you, when you rebuke Satan, and you have your mind exercise, when all hell breaks loose, thus will be the scripture fulfilled. 
wisdom and stability wisdom and knowledge shall be stability at your times because your, your your conscience was exercising the wisdom and the knowledge the trials tribulations all them sort of thing you go through right now when that time reach with that microchip with that our temptation come the microchip is the mark of the beast by the way when that our temptation come you'll be cool <coughs> Right, but the, the main thing is be an adversary to the devil by to Satan. They'll be one with Satan. Satan and you in one. Lord pull you away from Satan. <clears throat> Lord pull you away from this world. Don't be don't be trying to fight back your way into this world. This world have none fair. Alright. I'm gonna get a precept there. This is Romans, the 8th chapter. Romans chapter 8. Verse. <coughs> Romans 8, verse. 35 says who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai showed us love the fact that a man came down here on the earth and died for us bro I died he, he himself said a greater love not no man than this that a man laid down his life for his friends in John 15 the 15 chapter and the 13 verse he self said so thy love he showed us so he says who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? No, we love him. We love him because he first loved us. That is the scripture I fulfilled. Alright? In John, the first John. Um, shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep to, for the slaughter. That, that, that we, this is what we are pointed to, this we love. From the time you're, you're, you're in the, um, um, I join a scenario here. You know, you get called into this thing and you, you pick up the pen and you, you say, you take it out and you sign on that dotted line. You, 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 you was accounted as a sheep for the slaughter. Now, during that time, trial, during that time, Satan will come and try to hinder you, and pull you along, and bring you down. And, but the scripture say, a righteous man or a just man falleth seven times and rises up again, but the just shall fall into perdition. But the wicked shall fall into matter of fact, I'll get it. Still a quote in it, I'll get it. Proverbs 24 verse 16 For a just man falleth seven times and rise it up again But the wicked shall fall into mischief Alright A just man will fall seven times but he will come back up But the wicked man fall into mischief So no matter how much time Satan come and he try to Yeah you will fall in. You will fall but if it's a just man you get back up You just stay down there and believe what everything Satan tell you to do You know you fight against him and you understand that You use my enemy but you don't have me in this position man and rise by. This is what the Apostle Paul was saying. This is why we just say, Kwam Yashara. Rise as well. From your slums, from your sleep, from your from your from your sins. From your uh, uh, from your uh, fallen, from your slipping. Rise out of that. And conquer Satan. This is what the Apostle Paul said. Verse 37. It says, Nay, meaning no. In all these things, we are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. We are not just conquerors, bro. We are more than that. Because all these things what we not read about, that small thing to conquer. That small thing, my. Yahweh Shai conquered that and in sin. And the Apostle Paul said, be, um, be followers of me, even as I am also of Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai said, be perfect. 
as your heavenly father is perfect because when you're striving for, for, for perfection all your errors it is correct you understand when you're striving for, for, for perfection you're just all right it's mediocre but when you're striving for perfection all your errors it is correct because you say shit i make this wrong let me correct that and go further all right let me be, be perfect now it's understood that we can't be perfect in this flesh we will sin but we're looking for that perfection It says, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, all these, no principalities. Remember, I'm not reading Ephesians. These are the things we wrestle in against. No principalities, no powers, no things present, no things to come. Tribulations are we suffering now, tribulations are we going and suffer in the future. Hell we catching now, hell we going and catch in the future. No height, no depth, no any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord. Barakataya Hawa, Barakataya Hawa Shai, Barakataya Hawa, Barakataya Hawa Shai, Barakataya Hawa, Barakataya Hawa Shai. All right, all praise there, Abba Hashem, I was shy for that. Okay. And hey, shalom to the elect. All praise there, Abba Hashem, I was shy. Hey, Akiam, hopefully been edified. Till the next time, shalom to the elect.